Hello fifth graders, today we are going to be learning how to use iMovie in order to make our book trailer project. Um, we are going to be making trailers, just like movie trailers are advertisement for movies, a book trailer is an advertisement for a book, and we're going to choose a book that you guys have read this year. Hopefully you've already selected yours. Um, this video is going to show you a little bit about how to use iMovie, so that way you are ready to jump in and start making your trailer. Um, as you can see, we're here on the projects page, and you can see a few people's projects from last year. We're not going to worry about those. We're going to go and create our own um, new projects. So you can come over here to where it says create new. You're going to click on the plus sign and we're going to choose movie and not trailer. Trailer follows a template and we want to have more freedom in what we're doing. So we're going to click movie and it will load up and create a new project for us. There we go. Okay. So now, um, I'm going to click up here on my movie. So now let's look at our different things that we have here. First, we have um, our media section, and this is where all of the pictures and things that we'll um, put in here, this is where they will be. This is our preview screen, and this is where you'll be able to see a preview of the video as you're creating it. Down here is your timeline, so this is where we're going to drag, our, drag and drop our pictures in the order that we want them and edit them to their length that they need to be all down here in the timeline. Um, and then you can preview everything up here from your timeline. And then once we record our audio, you'll click this button to, cre to create your audio, and that audio will end up so that way you can time your images to your recording of your summary for your book. All right, so and then oh, up here are different effects and things that you can do to your images, and we'll look at some of those in more detail once we add some pictures. So let's add some pictures. Now, the easiest way for you guys to be able to do this is we're going to go down here to Finder in your toolbar. So you'll click on the little blue and white face in your toolbar. And then it, you're going to navigate to your, our folder. So remember iCloud Drive, and then Documents, and then Fifth Grade, and then scroll down to your folder. And then I'm going to have you create, when you start at saving your pictures, I'm going to have you create a book trailer pictures folder. And then now all of your pictures are there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to select all of the pictures that we might be using. And I've got a few in here that I'm not, so I'm going to deselect them. So that way, I have all of my JPEG pictures that I'm going to use in my in my trailer and I'm going to just pick them up so click and drag and drop it right here in our media section and then it's going to import those images in and then now you can see them all here in my media section so once those all get loaded up wonderful all right so now you can see them and it'll give you a preview of them as you if once you drag or like as you highlight your mouse over them it'll preview it over here in your preview screen okay so now in order to start building our slideshow you're going to start putting your images into your timeline so we'll start with our like what we'll use for our first image and drag it in and you can see it automatically puts it in for four seconds we can change the duration of this um by simply clicking, you see how this turns into a double-sided arrow here. At the end of it, you just click and you drag and you can change the duration. So now it's down to three seconds. Um, you can have them be as long or as short as you want, as long as they're timed up to your audio and it makes sense. So this one, we're just going to set it three seconds for right now. Um, and then let's add in a couple more images just to get started. Now you can see this is zoomed in pretty far and I want this to not take up so much space. So over here is our zoom for our timeline and I'm going to go down to about halfway. So now you can see there are little clips there and so you can still see the picture um, but it isn't as big and taking up as much space so we can add more things in. All right so I'm going to add just a few more pictures just to get us started and then we will um, play with some of our effects. 
All right, so let's click on our first thing. So as you can see, if you drag your mouse across, you see the timeline line goes with you and you can see in your preview screen what it will look like. Now you can see it like there's some some small like zooming in and out effects. That's what's called a Ken Burns effect and we can edit that by coming up here and clicking on the crop tool. So this is our crop tool right here. So as you can see, so this is our first slide, it's selected over here, and over here you can see there's two boxes. There's a starting box, and then there's an ending box. So this is showing that it starts here, and then it will slowly zoom out and end here. And you can play with this, and you can have it zoom in and out further, so you can have this be a more tight zoom that you want to use, and then it zooms out, and then if we click play, we can preview that. So you see how it goes from a tight zoom out and in. So now you can change this. Like if you want it to zoom in instead of out, all you have to do is come up here to the swap and just swap the start and the end. So now it starts big and then zooms in a little tighter. So now we can put our timeline arrow at the beginning and then click play and see how that goes. And so you see how it's zooming in on our character. Okay, so we can also do different effects to our film clips um, or pictures by clicking, I click on your um, image in your timeline and then come up here to the clip filter and audio effects. So we're going to click on that. And then we have the two different options here. We don't have any audio yet, so we're not going to worry about that, but we want to click on clip filter and it's going to load up all the different filters and then you can preview them so you can see if you hold your mouse over it, you can preview the different effects. And so if you want to do something different than just have the standard image, if you want to add a little bit for mood or um, excitement, then you can do that. So I'm going to choose the silent era one because I kind of like that one for the start of mine. So now if you click back at the beginning of your timeline and click play, you'll see your image has that, that effect on it. All right, so we've talked about making them bigger or smaller. We talked about adding, uh, changing our Ken Burns effect and about adding a clip effect. So let's click on this next one and we're gonna, I don't want this one to zoom in or out. I just want it to stay still. So we're gonna come back up here to our crop and you have two different options over here. You have crop to fill. So that's gonna, you're gonna crop it to fill the screen size standard that we have, or you can say fit. And so that basically this will just stay, like so you'll have the letter boxing around it and it'll stay just like that. So if we put our, click down in our timeline and click play, when it transitions, you'll see how it has the letter boxing around the image. All right, I'm gonna pause that click back over here. Um, I'm going to click back. I would like to crop to fill so you can see how it crops the image down so that the way the whole image, the whole screen is filled by the image. So if we click over here and we watch it change into that so we zoom in and you see how it fills the whole screen here. So those are your different options. You can choose whatever you like best, how that works. Um, you can do different things and to make it look how you want it to look and convey what you want to convey about the book that you've chosen. All right, so now we are going to, um, I want to look at a tall image, like a, an up and down image. So let's find one of those. I think this is one of them. So let's go to our crop. Oh no, that's not one of them. Let me find one in my images to pull down. Here we go, this is a good one. So if you click on this one, you can see how this is a portrait picture. And so the standard Ken Burns effect is going to make it go start at the top and then zoom down. So we can adjust that a little bit. So you can see how it will scroll down rather than zoom in or out. So let's practice that. So you see how it zooms down or scrolls down so you can see the whole picture. That would be a good one if you wanted to to not do Ken Burns if you wanted to, or if you like that effect of it scrolling down or up, that also would work. Um, if you did a crop to fill, it'd be really hard because it's gonna keep it that same ratio. This might be where you want to do a fit, where you've got the letter boxing. Um, it just depends on what you want to do. All right, so you see how that just fits on the screen like that. All right, the next thing I want to talk to you about is backgrounds and transitions.
and titles. Those are all up here. So if we're in our My Media area up here, you'll see audio, titles, backgrounds, and transitions. So let's start with transitions. This is what will happen in between each of your slides. So you can change, like there's lots of different ones and you can see the, you can test them out by dragging your mouse across them and previewing them in your preview pane. So you can see different things like fade to black, fade to white, spinning in or spinning out. Lots of circle in, circle out, all of those different things. So you can do different, you can have different choices. Um, and then you can, you just drag the one that you want down in between. And then now you have a transition. So if we click on our thing, you'll see it'll play our clip and then transition to the next slide. So just like when we make slideshows, it, that's exactly how that works. All right, now backgrounds are just standard um, blank screen. So if you want to start your your slideshow with a with a blank screen, then you can have it black, and then you can have it fade in to your first picture. You can have it be black at the end. The other thing you can do is you can add titles. So if you want to add text at all to your um, to your screen that's what you're going to do and it will actually put it over your image so you see how it now will play over your image so you see your text your title text is there and same thing you can have you can change the length of it by like how long it stays up on the screen by clicking and dragging so it could be up there for a long time it could be up there for a short time and they all have different effects the different titles that we have um so there's some that are fun so if you drag your mouse across you can see that they do different things they fade in they are shiny all that so you can play with that and decide if you want to add text to yours or not um you'll see in my sample that i did not do text so i'm actually going to delete that and I think that is it. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask me and you guys are all set and ready to go create your book trailers about your chosen book.